unit is over ratio and rate tables. Sarah can walk three and a half miles in one and a half hours. Calculate her average speeds in miles per hour. That's for every one hour. So I want to know, so let's write it as a rate. We're comparing two quantities with different units. So I want to break this down into one hour. How do I scale this down from one and a half hours to one hour? I divide by one and a half. So what's three and a half divided by one and a half? Let's turn this to improper fraction. That's seven halves divided by three halves. What do you know about uh, division of fractions? Be the reciprocal of the second number. And you turn it into a multiplicative expression. Some of you may learn this at Patterson, you keep change flip. So that's 14 over 6, which simplified to 7 thirds, or 2 and 1 third. So in one hour, she can walk 2 and 1 third miles every hour. Now that's a fast walker. Alright, so you're going to be icing cupcakes and selling them at Means Junior High. In an icing recipe, the instructions say that to Ice one batch of cupcakes with dream color icing. You would need two drops of blue, five drops of yellow. How many drops of food coloring would you need for one batch, two batch, three batches, four? Complete the ratio table. So, number blue. So it's two blue and five yellow. Blue, blue, yellow, 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 yellow. What's the ratio, a comparison of the blue to yellow? Two to five. Two fifth. 2 colon 5. Is this simplified? It, it, it is. 2 fifth. Let's do another one. What if you make another batch of this? But this is the original batch. Here's the second batch. Yellow, 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 yellow. That's the first batch. Second batch. So in the second batch, how many blue dots do you need? 4 blue dots to 10 yellow dots. Can you simplify this? It still has a ratio of 2 to 5. That means for every two blue dots, you'll have five yellow dots. What if I made three batches? Blue, 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 blue. To make a batch, you need two blue dots. Five yellow. So what's the ratio of blue to yellow? There are six blue to 15 yellow. Can you simplify this? Yes, you can. Divide both numbers by three, you get two fifths. Dude, this is going to be 2 fifth 2, and it is. So, the number by which you multiply two related quantities by the same number is called scale factor. Sometimes you need to scale back and scale forward to find an equivalent ratio. You've been hearing me just use this word repeatedly. So, we're going to, so we scale forward, or what, what are you building up? You're scaling it back. What are you, how are you breaking it down? So, for example, Rich Ray's heart beats 56 times per minute. At that rate, how many times will her heart beat in seven minutes? So are we building, so I labeled it, I made a, I made a box method. So 56 beats, one minute. But if I want to build it up to seven minutes, times seven, times seven, 56 times seven, that's 392 beats for every, for seven minutes. Some kids do not like this way. Some kids rather, which is nothing wrong, they rather skip count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if you skip count 56, that would be 112. If you skip count 56 more, that'd be, oh God, 168. And so on and so on until you reach 392. I think that's slower, I'd rather multiply. Because Repeated addition is multiplication. Patrick can make eight chairs in 20 hours. At this rate, how long will it take him to make two chairs? So we can, he can divide his time by four. So 20 divided by four is five. So eight chairs takes 20 hours. Two chairs will take five hours. Skim milk contains 80 calories for every eight ounces. How many calories do 10 ounces of skim milk contain? Can 8 be built up to 10? Do you know how 8 can be built up to 10? I don't know. 
What about, let's look closely at this. Could this be broken down into a different ratio, an equivalent fraction, equivalent ratio? It can. I'm going to break it down by 10, by dividing by 10. Oh, actually, sorry, by 8. You can do it by 2. So 8 divided by 8 is 1. 80 divided by 8 is 10. Now, can I build up this one ounce of milk? So you have 10 calories for every one ounce. Can I build one ounce to 10 ounces? I build it up by 10. So it's 100 calories for 10 ounces of milk. Joseph mows lawn during his summer vacation earned money. He took 14 hours last week to mow eight number of lawns. At this rate, how many lawns could he mow in 63 hours? So I'm going to label this as hours. So that's 14 hours. So eight lawns take 14 hours. I need to build it up to 63 hours. Can 14 hours be built up to 63 hours? I don't think so. So, hmm, let's look closely. What do you notice about these two numbers, the two quantities in the ratio? Can it be simplified? I think it's can. Let's break this down by two. We're gonna scale it down by two. So that's four, seven. So four, seven. Four lawns is the same, it takes seven hours. Now can you build it up to 63 hours by nine, by nine. 36 lawns will take 63 hours. Number five, Pablo bought a $50 gift card for $45 cash. Use the ratio table to find how much cash he would pay for a $30 gift card. So he has a $50 gift card, $45 cash. I want to know how much it will cost for cash-wise to get a $30 gift card. Can 50 be broken down into 30 equally? I don't think so. Could you simplify this? Could you break it down? Let's break this down by 5. That would be 10 and 9. So for $10 gift card, for every $10 gift card you buy, it costs you $9 cash. Now can I build it up? I can scale it up, or scale it forward by three. So it's $27 cash. You can get a $30 gift card. Xander read, read 30 pages of the book in 10 minutes. If we continue at this rate, how long will it take him to read 45 pages? So let's label this pages, minutes. If you continue this rate, how long would it take him to read 45 pages? How do you scale forward from 30 to 45? Or can you? I don't think so. Could I scale this back? I'm going to divide by 10. Divide by 10. Get 3, 1. For every 3 pages, it takes 3 pages per minute. Every 3 pages for every 1 minute. Now, if I, can I build it up? I can build it up by many ways you can build it up. You can build it up by 15, so 15 minutes. Another way you can build it up if you don't know your multiplication so well, you can build it up by 5, you get 15 to 5. Build it up by 3 and get those numbers. Barry was saving money for a new speaker system. He saved, so the units are saved and months. This unit, so rates, are comparing two different units. So save $200 in eight months. Barry continues to save money at this rate. How long will it take him to save in a year? So a year equals how many months? 12 months. Can eight be built up to 12 evenly? I don't think so. Could I break this down? I want to break it down by, I don't know, I'll break it down by two. So $100 spend for four months. Now I'm going to build it up again by three, three hundred dollars. Yeah. So three hundred dollars saved for every year. Number eight. Randy mows yards to earn extra money. He mowed three yards in 90 minutes. So the rates is comparing two different type of units, two quantity yards a minute. If he continues to mow at the same rate, how many yards could he mow in five hours? Ooh. What is five hours equal to in minute-wise? 60 minutes, make it out. 60, 60, 60, 60. 
as 300 minutes. Can 90 be built up to 300? I don't think so. I'm going to break this down, scale it back. I'm going to divide by 3. So in one yard, it takes them 30 minutes to do a yard. 30 minutes for one yard. Can I build this up now by 10? So he can do 10 yards in 300 minutes or 5 hours. And let's try one last one. Samantha's so goal is to do 80 sit-ups in 3 minutes. How many seconds will it take her to do 12 sit-ups? So the units are sit-ups and minutes. So we're rate comparing two different quantities. So 80 sit-ups in 3 minutes. They want us to know how many seconds. Oh, seconds. Seconds. Ooh, do I need to know three minutes? What's another way to say three minutes? 60, 60, 60. If there's 60 cents, seconds in each one. So that is 180 seconds in three minutes. So I need to know how many sits up in seconds, not minutes. Can 80 be broken down into 12 e million? I don't think so. I need to simplify this. What do I want to divide by? I don't know. I'll divide by 10 for now. That would be 8 by 10. That's 18. Can 8 be built up to 12? Nope. I could break it down again by 2. That would be 4, 9. Now can I build it up by, build it up, scale it up by 3? So 12 sit-ups in 27 seconds. So we are going to learn a faster way when we do equivalent ratios and uh, equivalent ratio, something called proportion. Proportion is comparing two different rates or ratio and making them equivalent. But some kids love this method. I like this method because when you solve proportion, this you're just using mostly a ratio step. You're building up, building, breaking down, scaling up, scaling backward. So from that, you can find different types of units with it. For example, you know 180 seconds, 80 sit-ups. We can also say 18 seconds, 8, that's a lot of sit-ups, wow, I guess so. 18 seconds, 8 sit-ups. 9 seconds, 4 sit-ups. Actually, no, that's not a lot. If you really want to break it down, it's almost like uh, 2 sit-ups, no, yeah, about 2 sit-ups for every... No, yeah. No, like half of a sit-up. Yeah, half of a sit-up for every second. Still really fast. So that is uh, ratio tables or rate tables.